Hi everybody, it is June 28, 2019. Look at what is taking place currently, right now, in Nebraska. Very powerful, extremely low frequencies that are on top of the frequencies coming out of South Dakota. I have never seen the extremely low frequencies being set off quite like it here in this area of our country. I've seen this in Texas. I've seen it off the, co um, the coastal area of North Carolina. I've seen it in South Carolina. I have never seen it in this area. I'm going to let you listen to a few minutes of Deborah Tavares. I'm going to go through some of the symptoms that one experiences from these extremely low frequencies. But I want to say they have upped their game. I have never seen radar like I have seen it this past year. From January on, something has changed significantly. The war against the enemy combatant, which is you, me, Americans, has been upped. The use of food that has been weaponized, food, no longer sustains our health. It has been taken over. The vaccines, the push to make it mandatory in states, getting rid of exemptions, that has taken on a, it's all things escalated. All things escalated. Our air is toxic, our food is toxic, the water is toxic. The use of weather as a weapon, I have been posting videos. I haven't in a couple of days. Yeah, in the few days that I haven't, more communities in Texas, Missouri, Illinois, and other areas, Pennsylvania, um, their homes destroyed. The numbers of people who are going down now has accelerated. We can't stop this war. Why? Because our fellow Americans are in a condition that they can't fight against anything, they can't resolve even the problems within their own personal lives. They're not going to be able to resolve any problems that are bigger than their personal lives. And most don't even care about anything if it doesn't concern them, their own personal life. So, I hope that you're all uh, taking measures to keep your immune system strong, reduce your exposure to these, the Wi-Fi, the microwaves, the microwave radiation, because even though you're not symptomatic now, it does not mean you won't cross the line. These frequencies affect every cell in your body, whether they're microwaves or extremely low frequencies or uh, the millimeter waves coming out of Doppler radar. They affect every cell in your body. They are damaging every cell in your body and eventually you do become symptomatic and I will tell you, you do not want to be living that nightmare. I want to ask, how are you guys? How are you feeling? Are you feeling like you're just not yourself anymore? Do you feel depressed or angry or anxious or irritable when there's really no cause for it? Are you feeling absolutely exhausted, having difficulty with your daily functioning? If you are, then you really do need to reduce your exposure. Um, I've reduced my exposure and I have never, if I had control over where I was living. I didn't have Wi-Fi, I didn't have all of these devices, yada, yada, yada. But 
um, does it matter? My neighbor here has Wi-Fi. I live in an area that is so um, the concentration of cell phones and wind towers and antennas they're all over so the only thing that I can say about my reduction in exposing myself to these frequencies it's allowed me to hang on a little bit longer that's that's what I can say but what we are looking at is something that I've never seen before in this area we're seeing an overlay of extremely low frequencies that come into Kansas uh, and how are you guys feeling those of you who live within this area of the country everything now has been accelerated so the best you can do is just prepare for the worst and keep yourself strong not only physically emotionally and morally spiritually yes it is a spiritual war spiritual war but I don't think most people understand what that entails that entails every individual get super spiritually fit so that they are not prey to the evil that is taking place. So I'm going to show you a few more captures of uh, just in the last 24 hours. Yeah, the use of these frequencies has really just The frequency with which I'm seeing, powerful, powerful radiation coming out of Gwen Towers or Doppler radar stations, satellites, nothing I have ever seen before. This is extremely dangerous, guys, and they can alter your behavior, your perception, your views, your opinion but they can keep us down. So when I see frequencies like this, I think to myself, okay, all right, the use of this, they're, they're really upping their game now. What, why, what's going on? If something, you know, what people refer to as shit hits the fan, if that takes place, how many people are going to be able to survive it? I don't think a lot because we are not fit anymore. And this is a great way to keep, to just keep people down. I'm going to play just a few minutes of Deborah Tavares. I do not want to see any comments about how Deborah Tavares is a shill. I'm so sick of people who do not understand how they are causing such problems here within this community. They destroy trust, great disservice to all of us. Those who say this person's a show without providing any evidence whatsoever. You are part of the problem big time. And unfortunately, we do have some people who post videos about other people being a shill and a fear monger. And, well, one said that Deborah Tavares works for NASA. No evidence whatsoever. I think it's ego. I think these, you know... Well, the boys don't like women who have a lot of um, notoriety, should I say? Ego, ego, ego-based. Ego-based. You know, Christians who, hey, let's spread this gossip. Let's take somebody down. I'm not going to provide any evidence. And then you have an awful lot of people who listen to them, not getting, hey, this guy didn't provide any evidence. That's pretty sloppy. That's pretty irresponsible. And maybe that person has some motivation going on that, hmm, I question their veracity, not Deborah Tavares's. You provide evidence or you shut up. So, um, 
Beam weapons. Beam weapons. That's what you're looking at. And what Deborah Tavares has to say, I watched part two. She's got five parts. Just recently posted yesterday. Or part two was a week ago. But I have to tell you, I have heard Deborah Tavares in the very beginning or years ago when she spoke very quickly and um, she was uh, speaking in a way that you could tell, you know, that she was very serious and quite passionate and it was fine with me because, yes, I understand we are at war. So those who are posting videos who just report the news, you know, and they have those newscaster voices, um, you know, are they, what, what's that about? Because, <laughs> frankly, when you know that people, life, all life, you know, the four-legged, the two-legged, the trees, every species, dying, and you're not upset about that? Well, then Deborah Tavares had a change, and I think somebody said, slow down your speaking, slow down your speaking. I'm a New Yorker, okay? You know, and most of my friends um, were New Yorkers, and they spoke very quickly. So, uh, you know, but I noticed a change in how Deborah Tavares was delivering the news. She's back. <laughs> and she's delivering it passionately, at least in part two. You can't not, if you are a real human being and you are not a disintegrated human being, you're an integrated human being. And that means when you're talking about very serious stuff and life being killed off by sick, psychopathic, subhuman entities, I don't, these aren't human beings, um, then how you can just retain full control and just sound like, you know, you're reporting on, I was going to say the weather, but forget about it because that's been weaponized. Reporting on something that's not serious. Well, good for you. And if that's what you want to listen to, get off the channels where people are feeling what's going on. Beam weapons increasingly prevalent. Beam weapons increasingly prevalent. Again, uh, anti-personnel, microwave and radio frequency weapon systems. Listen to this. Heating high power requirements. Heating high power requirements. Surface effects. I want to say surface effects uh, to add that I believe they're talking about the infrastructure that we see being destroyed all over the place. I have said in many weather uh, or the flooding videos that I posted, look at, oh, rain, it's washing away roads, it's, it's collapsing bridges. Um, all the infrastructure is being destroyed. Gwen Towers, ground wave emergency network that they decommissioned in the 70s. Why do we have them littered all over the country then? The Gwen Towers, which look like this. Um, okay, different from cell towers. The wires go down to the ground. They can emit extremely low frequencies into the atmosphere or through the ground. All the wires, 360 around these very uh, high antennas. These are very powerful structures right here. So when they're emitting these extremely low frequencies through the ground, it weakens the ground. They can ah, drop one inch in 20 minutes and suddenly roads wash away. All of what you are seeing is deliberate. This war, they have upped their game and it's going to continue because we can't get through to anybody. Brain interactions, low frequency modulation. Now, this is important, and I have the document here as well. 
It is um, on my website under Source Document tab. It's the U.S. Army Walter Reed document, military document, and I'm going to go over some of the highlights on this uh, presentation right now. So again, this is the effects of low power microwaves um, and the effects of behavioral performance decrements, seizures, they know, gross alteration in brain function, they know, and lethality, they know. This is no new news, none at all. It's warfare battlefield frequencies deployed. So they also talk about often fingerprintless, bacteriological viruses, prions, parasites, fungi, carcinogens, toxins, and hormone regulators, biohacking, short and long-term scales, fatal to dis disability. This is all the plan. This is what we face. Lyme disease was a biologically weaponized and engineered um, designed disease. They talk about aflatoxin. It's a carcinogen. Airborne vi vi varieties of Ebola, Lassa, and more. Binary agents distributed via imported products, such as in our imported vitamins, clothing, and food. They talk about individual societal targeted pathogens. In other words, they can select a certain race, certain ethnicity, and target that race. And they are. Long-term fingerprintless campaign as opposed to shock and awe. These are bio weapons. No more war as we have known in the past. And it is all going on right now. I have seen comments and uh, videos where people are talking about Ebola right here. Um, and there is so much going on. My God, the poisons, the toxicity, the, the uh, everything in our environment now is toxic. And more and more people every single day become casualties of this war. So when she says, this is, they are, it is happening. I get comments from people and I think they do not understand what is happening already. The Trump supporters, it doesn't matter. It does not matter because the war has not stopped. The war has only accelerated. And, you know, whatever comes out of Washington, D.C. is the show to keep you distracted. We are going down. And I'm sorry to say that, yeah, the condition of the American people, they can't fight anything. So when she's talking about beam weapons, let me just show you what these beam weapons can do. This is from Gwen Towers. Gwen Towers and look around your area. You have them somewhere. Um, there's one about a mile and a half away from me, but they are all over our interstate, and sometimes you can come across areas driving on that interstate, and suddenly you will see four or five right next to one another. There are areas like, and I believe it's very close to the... Uh, Pennsylvania, West Virginia border. I think it's Maryland, not Maryland, the state. You come across the approximately 25 on one side, 25 on the other side, Gwen Towers. That is a transmitter site. So when I leave comments and people say, you're such a moron, the only transmitter sites, they go to Wikipedia, the only transmitter sites that we have the military facilities, Cutler, Maine, uh, one in Wisconsin, or is it Michigan? Michigan. They just don't list it as a transmission site. But when you come across so many in one area, you know, okay, that's a powerful transmission site that they have not labeled as such. 
and they can do very uh, powerful modification of the weather. But then I think about all of the people who live there, and they must not be feeling well. So Gwen Towers, um, you know, and what brought me to my research on Gwen Towers was just doing the research on microwave radiation because I was getting burned. And I would come home from walking in the backyard of a coffee shop that was fenced in. And I'd bring my dogs there. I'd walk back barefoot and film the sky of what craziness I was seeing in the sky in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. This was like 2011. And when I would get home, my both legs would be swollen right above my knees from, you know, my toes right above my knees, but there would be a very clear, on both feet, burn. My feet were red right above my ankles, and there was a very clear, defined line that demarcated where the burn stopped. And it was highly unusual. I came across a military-funded study on the biological effects of Gwen Towers, and it said barefoot around a Gwen Tower is the most dangerous condition that you can be in. I have said this repeatedly. So many people say, ground yourself, walk barefoot. You've got to be careful that there is not a Gwen Tower around. You are, you conduct, you, you bring these frequencies into you. You're like an antenna, walking antenna. Barefoot, the frequencies, you're pulling them faster right into your feet that and then the frequencies go right through your body if a Gwen Tower is around let's say close to a uh, a parking lot you know where you shop the minute you put your hand on that door to open the door of the car you because metal conducts these frequencies you are pulling those frequencies faster. The minute you touch metal, you pull the frequencies faster towards you. And what they can do is alter your central nervous system, bring about an awful lot of physical and emotional and mental cognitive problems, shocks and burns. Hey, guess what? They can burn your body with these frequencies. And that's exactly what happened to me. Uh, they can actually shock you. You can feel shock, like, and you don't know where it's coming from. Muscular contractions, death, heating. Have you ever suddenly felt like a hot flash, whether you're a female or a guy, and you don't know where it's coming from? You've been hit with a microwave weapon. You've been hit with an extremely low frequency auditory, the tinnitus, the ticking, hissing, buzzing, knocking sounds, whatever, however it is that it manifests within you, uh, behavioral changes, radio frequency, extremely low frequency range, have yielded perceptual and behavioral responses, including fatigue, difficulty in concentrating, increased frequency of headaches, um, an awful lot of, uh, the list is long, irritability, lethargy, lethargy, um, insomnia, impotence, headaches, loss of memory, inability to concentrate, microwave sickness. And we now are saturated in dangerous frequencies. Uh, your emotions, yes, can be targeted. The neurological effects are long. They affect social behavior, affect your ability to learn slows it all down. A short history of infrasound, a extremely low frequencies, right here, infrasound. So there's the electromagnetic spectrum. The Doppler radar, the high frequency millimeter wave. That's the high frequency end of the spectrum. These are the low. That's the low end, extremely low frequencies, infrasound, acoustic uh, sound. You don't hear it, 
but it's affecting it. So, uh, infrasound or extremely low frequencies in the 7 through 20 hertz can directly affect this human central nervous system, causing disorientation, anxiety, panic, bowel spasms, nausea, vomiting, uh, unconsciousness, death, 7 hertz, dangerous frequency, supposedly the most dangerous, the alpha rhythm, those frequencies, we are electromagnetic beams. We've got frequencies going on. Everything that's operating in your body operates by frequencies. You know, the neurotransmitters in your brain, they shoot. They're firing in your brain frequencies, electromagnetic beams. And these frequencies that they are using right here, they can literally lock on to your frequency. And once locked on, they can change the frequency in your brain, altering your behavior, your perceptions. That's why this is so dangerous, because people can't see it, except when you go to radar. Um, yeah, prolonged exposure is the worst. That's why I've been saying, please reduce your exposure. Get rid of your Wi-Fi. Get rid of your smartphone and iPhone because you know what else they can do. Lock on to that phone of yours and send you via your smartphone or iPhone extremely low frequencies to change you, but it will be so subtle you won't even recognize the change but others will. Um, 1 to 10 hertz, intellectual activity is first inhibited and blocked and then destroyed. Neurological interference. 43 to 73 hertz, lack of visual acuity. IQ scores fall to 77% of normal. Um, distortion of spatial orientation, poor muscular coordination, loss of equilibrium, slurred speech, blackout. 50 to 100 hertz, intolerable sensations in the chest. Uh, the thoracic region can be produced, um, physiological changes, chest vibrating, respiratory effects, difficulty breathing, 100 hertz, a person experiences irritation, mild nausea, giddiness, skin flushing, body tingling, uh, vertigo, anxiety, extreme fatigue, throat pressure, respiratory dysfunction. The reason why I'm reading this is because there have been so many of you listing these symptoms that you are experiencing. Acoustic weapons. So there was an experiment done for the French military to see if they could come up with some uh, audio weapon, acoustic weapon, sound weapon, extremely low frequency weapon. And the, the team used the extremely low frequencies against themselves. One person died instantly. His internal organs mashed into amorphous jelly by the vibrations. Luckily, we were able to turn it off quickly. All of us were sick for hours. Everything in us was vibrating stomach, her heart, lungs. All the people in the other laboratories were sick too. They were very angry with us. This is a very good article, Microwave Mind Control. Tim Reifert, I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation of his name. I've posted other videos on this. I have a playlist, 5G, microwave, Wi-Fi, um, with a lot of videos that I've posted, other people have posted, but extremely low signals, extremely low signals, which mimic natural brain waves at the flick of a switch all the people around these microwave transmitters are turned into submissive zombies, which cannot, who cannot, think clearly, become depressed, apathetic, want to lounge around all day doing nothing. Um, the UK security forces used, this was an investigation by Tim Ruffett, and 
it's a very long article, but it contains a tremendous amount of information. And uh, it was discovered that the UK police were using this against ordinary citizens to turn them into zombies. Um, the microwave mind control weapons, extremely low frequencies. Uh, this network of transmitters, well, we've got a network of transmitters, and the transmitters look like this. So, uh, the network of transmitters to beam mind control signals into the brains of anyone living near these transmitters. Microwave phones use pulse modulated microwaves of the current intensity to pass through the skull into the brain and control behavior. Microwave transmitters are therefore the perfect medium for the transmission of extremely low frequency signals to mind control the UK population. Pure diabolical genius. A stroke of genius, the mobile phone. What are we living what are we living now? I've heard from many of you, whether comments or just in emails or phone, you're facing a whole lot of people that you no longer can relate to, you can't even talk to, you don't want to be around. Their behavior, immature, immoral, they don't give a shit what they are doing to other people, they don't care at all. Stressed, confused, submissive zombies. So, yes, those smartphones, those iPhones, extremely dangerous. And even though you may think that you're fine, I have seen, well, one person in particular, and who I was very close to, who became something I didn't recognize, don't know, had to move away from, couldn't be around, because our relationship became so toxic that I just, all right, I'm done. I can't. Um, nothing. It was like hearing things from her that not even a child would say that were so, it so instigated, you know, arguments and I couldn't, I, I didn't know what the hell. I was dealing with. I can't say definitively much of anything. I know the frequencies affect me, but I, there are other things in my life that also brought me to where I am. I am no longer myself. I have never experienced confusion like I am now. Uh, most of the time, I, I literally don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Even with the simplest things, I'm not talking about anything complicated. So people hear me, you know, posting a video, and you listen to it, and you think I'm fine. Well, if you had surveillance cameras, which no doubt there are, but if you saw me in real life, you would know something is very wrong. So don't presume anything in the cyber world. Um, Something has changed, guys. And it's, the change is very dangerous, indeed. So this was this morning at 2.35 a.m. How's your sleep, guys? Are you sleeping well? Are you, is your, are you now experiencing insomnia? Is your sleep disrupted a lot? Well, these frequencies are blasting away, especially the um, from Texas on now on up into uh, New England, Massachusetts. You know, Texas was the area that we would see these blasting months ago. Now, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama is blasting away. North Carolina, South Carolina blasts away, but I have never seen it blasting away right here. Um, prolonged exposure. So we certainly have these frequencies blasting away as they're modifying the weather, which, well, I have shown quite often. Um, 
and extremely low frequencies that are emitted from one state into another state. This was the eruption of my thunderstorm that erupted out of nowhere and I, I filmed the creation of it. This was last night. This was 11.20 a.m. yesterday on the 27th, blasting away South Carolina, North Carolina, uh, Georgia, Louisiana, and yes, they were blasting away here out of, I guess, Kansas. Um, but the blasts are more powerful now. 3.30 a.m. on the 27th, right on up into, uh, from Texas on up into um, New Jersey area, Pennsylvania, and Doppler radar has been pulsing away in areas that I have never seen before. So, guys, we're in trouble. They are bringing us down. Everything is being escalated, uh, accelerated. The war, unfortunately, no matter how obvious it gets, we do not have the numbers to uh, do anything about it. Now we just watch it. And... I don't know about you, but that creates for me a great frustration because I like to see, you know, action being taken and things changing from that action. Well, we're living a, a very different time. A very different time. But look at these frequencies coming out of New Jersey, I think. right on into New York State, Pennsylvania. And we have these extremely low frequencies going through the upstate in South Carolina, which is where I live. And look, when you don't see any weather at all, and you see these extremely low frequencies blasting away, like here, you know that they are using The application of the extremely low frequencies are for other reasons. What are the reasons? Well, mind control, physically incapacitate. But look at the pulses that are taking place, and I have never seen Doppler radar pulse like this. These pulses coming out, Kansas, Nebraska, never seen pulses so powerful. This is the... 27th, 1.15 a.m. How are you guys feeling in this area? Leave comments how you guys are feeling. The war has been on, and the war is just going to continue taking out more and more people. It's a very trying time for all of us. What I've been experiencing, my difficulty speaking, the exhaustion I feel, even just speaking, my, my memory is going, the loss of concentration, the confusion, never before have I experienced it. Physically, the chronic physical pain is just a, a given. Um, a depression that sets in, can't seem to lift myself from it, but then the next day I'm fine. Ah, well, when that happens, I go, I just check out what's happening on Doppler radar, and I see extremely low frequencies or microwaves or something blasting away in South Carolina. 27th, one quarter after one in the morning. All right, guys. I hope you're I hope everybody is doing okay.
Ciao.